just let me do yeah. that. So if I, I'm recording it now, so anyone who ever has any problems, I'll record them and then I'll, I'll ping them over to you. So okay. we can do it from there. I won't, I won't kind of put them up anywhere, but I can send them okay. down. <laughs> I'll pop everybody onto mute. How is everyone this morning? Are we okay? Yeah, good. Yeah. Good, good, good. Enjoying this beautiful August weather, not. Mm. <laughs> so, hey, you think we're due for some sunshine. It's sunny with that wind is like blowing a gale out there. I've changed all the beds. So I'm being very kind of washerwoman about it. The whole house. If you move in this house, you get put in the washing machine. Milu's hiding just in case he's next. Right then, team. Let's get started. Uh, let's pop there. Beautiful. So yeah, if anyone has any problems, just let me know. Um, and I can always pop it through. Sometimes turning your video off. You can still see and hear me. Um, that might make a difference, but I'm, I'm unsure as to whether what the problem is if, if I do keep freezing because I, I seem to have full connectivity, but I will kind of go back and, and double check that. But lovely to see you all. So first question, did any of you see the full moon at the beginning of the week? Did you see? It was absolutely, uh, what, well, the end of last, was it, where are we, Wednesday? Yeah, the beginning of this week. I think the full moon was Sunday night and then Monday. Um, but it was enormous. It was a blue moon, which is one of those unusual ones that have a kind of bluish hue around them. But it was really, really bright and really, really full. It was beautiful. So in honour of that, we're going to have quite a, a grounding start to the practice today, a nice chilled out flow. And then we'll come up to stand. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of balancing. So if you want to use a wall, make sure you've got some space to the side of you because we are going to come into um, a gate pose when we've got the leg out to the side so just make sure you're not gonna um, kick your partner or end up under a coffee table uh, or a downward dog for 15 minutes here right then let's get started lovely to see you all lovely to be back and back into routine um on floor is full of cobbled streets and um and obviously sleeping on a different bed i felt like the tin man my back was absolutely killing me i think a combination of the two so never was i so glad in my yoga so whatever state your back's in today, let's start by lying down, bring your knees in towards your chest. And let's see that any tension in the low back, which um, regardless of cobbled streets um, or strange beds, <laughs> can sometimes get a little bit tight. So you might want to just have a gentle sway from side to side or take a little circle of your knees round in one direction and then the other. Just have a little bit of movement there just to free up some space in the back, especially if you not been up and moving for very long this morning. And why should you? It's a summer holiday. So when you've just soothed up any tension from the back, you can bring your feet down to the floor. I'm going to keep my feet wide apart and rest my knees together, but go ahead and stretch the legs out long in front of you if that feels nice this morning. In fact, I'm going to come up to seated so I can talk to you, but you're going to be lying down, arms resting down alongside you, or if the full moon has had the effect of um, making you feel a little bit discombobulated, which it sometimes can do. Hands on your belly, hands on your chest. Just take your, your fingers out to the outside of your body so you can rest your elbows on the floor if you need to. And that can sometimes feel quite reassuring as well as deepen that connection to your breath. So just get yourself nice and comfy is the order of the day to begin with. Closing the eyes. Ah, take a nice deep breath in. And as you breathe out, welcome to your practice. Time to connect to your body, time to connect to your breath. Welcome, Sue, if you've just joined us. We're just starting lying down, Sue. Legs in a comfortable position, whatever feels nice for you this morning. And I'll just start our practice with a poem. I didn't write it, my yoga teacher wrote it, but very kindly shared it with me. And certainly there might be some lines, some words which maybe resonate with you. Maybe taking some of it forwards, certainly into our practice, but maybe into the week ahead of us. When life feels too fast, pause. Remind yourself that you can choose to move more slowly. When your mind is racing with a hundred thoughts, pause, find your breath and feel as your thoughts begin to settle. 
When your body feels tired, heavy and tight, pause, relax and let the earth take your weight. When your mind is busy with negative thoughts, pause, seek out the positives and the things that you're grateful for. When the world is loud and the noise tires your body and mind, pause, breathe and choose to enter the quiet sanctuary within you. And certainly that last line really resonated with me. That's what we're hopefully going to do throughout our practice today, to breathe and to just take ourselves to that quiet place that resides within all of us. And we cut through all of that internal and external noise. The world can be very noisy at the moment. So let's take a moment just to breathe. If you have your hands resting on your body, encouraging the hand, lower hands, that hands on your belly to rise and fall as you begin to deepen and lengthen the breath. Nice, slow inhalations and an equally steady exhalation. So just allowing the body to Accept gratefully the support of the earth beneath you as we begin our little grounding flow today in honour of that full moon that we could see so vividly at the beginning of the week. Full moon, time to ground ourselves, a time to move a little bit more slowly. So really challenging yourselves to stick with your breath and let each movement be guided by your breath, slowing things down middle of this week. So if you have your hands resting on your chest and your belly, just bring them down alongside you. We'll all just bring the hands down to rest on the floor with the palms facing down to the floor. And lengthening your fingertips down towards the end of the mat. So you've really got a nice long neck space between your shoulders and your ears. And then on your next inhalation, let's float the arms all the way up and back behind you, back of the hands finding the floor. So that might mean widening your arms. And as you breathe out, let's bring the arms all the way back down. Nice and simple start this morning. So breathing in, arms float up and back. Reaching and lengthening. Don't worry if your back of the hands don't quite touch the floor. You can always bend your elbows, come into more of a cactus position, exhale to lower. So as you continue, just to do a few more of those. Just noticing how the shoulders feel this morning. Maybe you feel that you're, you're kind of arching your back a little bit as you lift your arms back behind you. See if you can soften your rib cage so you, you kind of feel that connection, you sustain that connection between your back and the floor as the arms move up and down. Let's do one more inhale, floating the arms up and back, trying to find a little bit of length through the arms, stretching back behind you and exhale lower. We'll all meet with the hands down alongside you, pausing there. Lovely. And then we'll take the arms up and over one last time. Pausing there now, reaching the arms back as you straighten the legs out in front of you if you've not already done so. So we'll all find a lovely full body stretch. The beginning of our practice, maybe stretching one heel away from you, reaching through the fingertips on one side of the body and then switching sides. So you're just getting a nice stretch out through the right side and then the left side of the body. And then maybe you push your heels away from you, begin to pull your toes towards your face. Get a nice engagement through the front the quads there. Lovely. And then slowly bring the arms out level with your shoulders. Just slide them down like the top of a letter T. As you walk your feet back in towards you, taking them a little bit wider apart, so towards the outside edges of your mat there. Heels in, toes ever so slightly turned out as we come into a little wide leg twist, so breathing in. As you breathe out, let's drop the knees to the right side. You can always slide your feet a little closer together if your knees begin to pull. Just try to slide that right shoulder blade from out from underneath you so you can drop a little bit more weight into your left shoulder. Maybe pick up your head and look over your left arm. You feel that space across your chest as the knees just begin to let gravity do the work, dropping down, bringing that twist up the spine. Lovely head to centre, breathing in, legs to centre. Exhaling, let's take that over to the opposite side. So rolling over your heels, knees to the left, 
So this time it's a little slide of your left shoulder blade out from underneath you and feel the weight in your right shoulder blade increase. Your head might turn away from your knees if your neck feels nice and strong. As you take a couple of breaths there, you might notice a subtle difference between the left side and the right side of the body this morning. And let's now just roll with the breath. So inhale to centre. Exhale, little tip of the knees to the right, maybe gazing to the left. Now just work with your breath. So alternating sides, letting the inhale bring the knees back up towards the ceiling and the exhale into the twist. I'm just rolling across the back of my heels there. So I'm lifting my toes up a little bit. And if you're all feeling comfortable in the shoulders, you might bring the arms back up above your head, resting one hand on top of the other. Getting a little stretch underneath the armpits and maybe start to just push your hips gently in the same direction that your knees are moving. So it's a little scooch of the hips, only if that feels nice on the low back. If not, you keep your arms out and just keep the hips on the floor. Oh, that feels nice this morning. Nice to wake up through the spine very gently, keeping the feet a little bit wider apart. Just do one more knees over to the right, maybe gaze over to the left. And then one more over to the left with the knees. So take your time. When you come back to centre from the left side, we'll pause there. Bring your feet now in line with your sit bones. So level with your sit bones, hip width apart. And if your arms are above your head, let's all bring the arms all the way back down alongside you now. Lovely. So press into your feet. It's a little pelvic tilt before we come into a bigger shoulder bridge. So just start to... Press your back into the floor, but curl your tailbone up towards you. you. And you might feel that you can slide your hands just underneath your bottom there as you just bring the tailbone up towards you. And then we reverse that, lengthening the tailbone away from you as you puff your chest up towards the ceiling, arching the back so you feel space now between your middle back and the floor. So scoop the belly. Press the back down, but curl the tailbone up towards you. Maybe the bottom lifts a little bit. And then drop the weight into the lower back as you puff your chest up. Feeling that arch of the back. Do a couple more like that. So some of us who are less mobile or suffer with back issues, it might be a smaller move. You might not feel that there's very much movement at all. But we're just warming up through the spine as well as bringing awareness to that part of the body. Let's just do one more. Oh, again, that's nice just to wake up the spine and find that neutral place between those two extremes as you bring your right knee in towards your chest. Other foot stays on the floor. And we just start to circle the knee or open and close it if that's more comfortable. It's warming up through the hip this morning. Gentle circles. Again, it might be a bigger movement or a smaller movement. If you're circling, remember to take the knee round in both directions. So change direction now if you've not done so. And then we'll hug that knee in towards the chest, folding around the back of the leg as we take the leg up towards the ceiling for a hamstring stretch. So as you push the heel gently away from you, maybe soften the knee. The hands might be low to your bottom. You might slide them up towards your calf. But whatever you're doing, make sure you're not lifting your bottom off the floor. So drop some weight into the back of the pelvis there. Soften the shoulders, relax your face, breathe. And then we'll lower the right foot all the way back down to the floor. We'll change sides, left knee coming in. We'll start with those little knee circles. So bringing our way into the hip as you take the knee round in one way. Maybe you're just using your left hand to guide the knee round and then round the opposite way, or you can use both hands. Or you might be opening and closing the knee, whatever feels nice. And then bring the knee to the chest, ready for that hamstring stretch. So holding around the back of the leg, it goes up towards the ceiling. Push the heel up. So again, if the leg starts to shake, you've gone a little bit too far too soon. So just back off a little bit. Again, make sure you're not lifting your bottom up. So just drop some weight into the low back. Again, relax your shoulders, tuck your chin in as you lengthen. And then we'll bring the foot down. Feet hip width apart, arms down alongside you. Ready for a little shoulder bridge or stick with the pelvic tilts this morning. So pressing into your feet as you breathe in. As you breathe out, start to lift your hips and lift just fine up from the mat, maybe just coming up a little way to start with, breathing in at the top and breathing out to roll your way down. Keep a little tilt of the pelvis tucked under as you roll your way down. Breath in, breathing out, roll your way up. Start with that little curl of the tailbone towards you as you pick up your hips, legs from the spine. Breathing in at the top, 
and breathing out, you roll your way back down. So really take your time, almost find your way through each vertebrae. Last time, breathing in, breathing out. This time, maybe you're coming up to that flat area between your shoulder blades. So you're lengthening your sits bones towards the back of your knees. Breath in at the top and breathing out, roll your way down. We're gonna come up and hold this next time. So if that's not for you, just continue to roll up or down, or breath in. Breathing out, push up into your shoulder bridge and we'll pause there now. So whatever that looks for you, those of you that are quite high up on your shoulder blades might want to scoop them towards each other so you can interlace your hands underneath you. So you're pressing the little finger edge of your hand down as you squeeze your bottom. Just make sure the hips are level as you puff up your chest towards your chin. If that's too much, come out at any time. It's feeling the back body engaged there. And then option now to lift up onto the balls of the feet as you release the arms alongside you. Maybe keep the heels lifted as you lower your way down. If that's not for you, just bring the heels down. Lovely. And then lower the hips, lower the heels and bring that right knee back in towards the chest. Taking the legs straight up towards the ceiling, back into that hamstring stretch. Ready for our little moving flow. So releasing the arms back behind you as you start to lower that right leg down the mat. So heel just hovering off the floor, big breath in. Breathing out, knee to chest. Maybe lifting head and shoulders, nose to knee. Inhale, extend, right leg extends, arms stretch back. Exhale, give that knee a squeeze. And maybe roll on up, bringing your nose towards your knee. If that's too much this morning, keep the head down. We'll do a couple more of those. Ooh, so if you're bringing your nose towards your knee, make sure your shoulders are away from your ears so the neck stays nice and long. So let's all extend arms and that leg one last time. And then we'll bring that knee in towards your chest, nose towards your knee and then lower the head and shoulders all the way back down. Lovely, beautiful, bring the foot to the floor and then we'll try that on the other side. So left knee coming in towards the chest, interlacing the hands behind the legs, straight up into that lovely hamstring stretch and then into that little moving sequence. So both arms reaching back as you lower that left leg down the mat, big breath in, breathing out, give it a squeeze, Maybe lifting up. If you don't want to lift your nose towards your knee, you can keep head and shoulders on the floor. Inhale. Head and shoulders come back down as you stretch out. And then round on in. On an exhale, just feel your belly button press back towards your spine. Inhale. Spread the fingers. Exhale all the way up. Inhaling, extend up through the leg. And exhale. Knee to nose, lovely. Inhale, extend. And knee coming in towards your chest, nose towards your knee. Keep your knee in towards your chest, but lower head and shoulders back down onto your mat. And then bring the right knee in to join the left. So both knees hugged in, one hand on each knee. Take the knees round in a circle, one direction. You can keep the knees together, you can separate them, whatever feels nice for your hips. And then we'll take them round the opposite way. We're going to find our way up to seated in a minute. So you can either roll to one side or join me, crossing the ankles, widening your knees, hold on around the backs of the legs and use a little bit of momentum to whoop, roll your way up. And we'll come to seated. I'm going to sit cross-legged, but if you want to stretch the legs out, feel free. You can pop yourself up on a cushion if you want to lift your hips up a little bit this morning. And then we'll bring the hands to the heart. So drop some weight into your elbows, drop your chin down towards your fingertips. So feel the, the neck nice and long. We'll inhale and take the arms up. And as you exhale, we're going to twist to the right. So one hand comes in front and the other comes behind you. So left hand might be on the floor, might be on your shin, your ankle. As you gently move your chest around to the right, you might take your gaze over that back shoulder if that feels nice this morning. Sitting up nice and tall. So Make sure you're not leaning backwards into that back hand. Lovely. Back to center as you breathe in, reaching the arms up. Breathing out, hands to heart, chin to chest. Let's try that the other side. So inhaling up. Exhale as you twist to the left. You bring your right hand in front of you and the left hand behind you. So that right hand might land on your leg, on the floor. Lifting, lifting, lifting up through your chest. 
And as you draw that back shoulder back, looking over your shoulder if you want to. A couple of breaths there, then we're going to move with the breath. So inhale to centre, reaching the arms up. Exhaling hands to heart, chin to chest. We're going to do one more each way with the breath, a little faster. Inhale. Exhale, twist to the right. One arm in front, the other behind. Inhale through centre. Exhaling hands to heart, chin to chest. Last time round to the left, all the way up. Big breath in. And then breathing out, twist to the left. Lovely. Inhale through centre. And this time as you exhale, let's bring the hands down alongside you. So you can just lean into your hands, stretch the legs out so you can bounce your knees a little bit and then recross the legs the opposite way if you had them crossed. Hands to heart. Lovely, inhaling up. And this time as you exhale, bring the right hand down and the left arm up and over into a little side bend. So really press down into that left sit bone, lengthen the left arm all the way alongside your ear and then inhale come back to centre and as you exhale let's go straight over to the other side left hand down right arm up and over so just soften that supporting elbow see if you can just drop that uh, left elbow in towards your waist a little bit let's do a few more with the breath so inhale to centre exhale bend that right elbow drop it in towards your waist as you stretch overhead in Oh, that feels nice this morning. And exhale. Should we do one more of those because they feel so nice? Yeah. One more each way. You can tuck your chin in and look up or keep the gaze down or in a more neutral position. This time we'll bring both arms up towards the ceiling, breathing in. And I'm going to bring my hands down as I breathe out and roll over my ankles to all fours. But if that doesn't work for you, oh, geez, there was a train going by then. <laughs> It's gone now. So hands under shoulders, knees underneath the hips there. So a nice box position. So press into your hands, find that nice long spine, lengthening out through the crown of the head and the tailbone, a little firming up through the belly. And then we'll tuck all 10 toes under and just press the balls of the feet into the floor. So just waking up through the fascia of the feet there. Keep pressing into your hands so you're not disappearing into your shoulders. And we've got the option to stay there, just pressing into the balls of the feet, or without your bottom lifting or your head dropping, hover your knees off the floor. So we're still looking towards the top of your mat. I've not lifted my hips up, my knees are hovering by an inch or so. Looking to really work our core here, feel the quads fire up. Let's hold for three, two, and one. Lower the knees, flatten the feet, inhale, drop the belly, lift the tailbone, lift the head and heart, cow pose. Exhale, round the back like an angry cat. Tuck your chin in towards your chest. Inhale, heart pulls forwards. Tailbone lifts. Exhale, round on up. And maybe just close the eyes here as you continue to ripple up and down through the spine. See how that feels this morning. And if your chest and shoulders feel tight, just take your hands slightly wider apart there. Give yourself more space. I really like that. Just Taking them a little wider by an inch or so really makes a difference. Let's do one more of those. Inhaling into that cow pose, dropping your belly. Try not to shorten the back of the neck. And exhale. Beautiful. Let's come back to that neutral position now, that nice long back. And imagine now you've got the little tail. You're going to swing your tail to the right. So nudge your hips to the right side. And maybe take your right ear towards your right shoulder. So you're looking towards the back of your mat. Everything comes back to centre. And then we nudge the hips over to the left, wagging that imaginary tail. And then left ear to left shoulder. Keep pressing into your hands. Inhale to centre. Exhaling over to the right. Look towards your right hip, shortening the waist. Inhale to centre. Exhaling, wagging that tail to the left. Left ear to left shoulder. We'll come back to centre, breathing in. Breathing out, hips to heels. Coming into a child pose, walk the hands forwards. And if it feels comfortable this morning, come up onto your finger pads. So pressing the tips of your fingers and your thumbs down into the mat. The palms are lifted. It's taking the heat out of the wrists for a moment. Lovely. And then flattening your hands, we'll come back onto all fours, making sure you've got some space just round to the side of you now as you slide your right leg back behind you. Lifting it hip height, try not to dip in the middle, so thumb up through the belly, big breath in. Breathing out, knee to chest, nose to knee, tiger pose. 
Inhale, extend, kick out through the heel, look forward. Exhale, squeeze it in, so round up through the back. Do that twice more, inhale. Keep pressing into the hands, exhale. Send the shoulder blades left to right as you hug the knee in, lovely. Inhale, extend. This time as you exhale, bring the knee in towards your chest and then take that right leg out to the right so your big toe is roughly lined up with the knee and walk your hands back towards you, lifting up into gate pose, spreading the arms out nice and wide. If your hips or your knees, or maybe you're stuck for space this morning, you can always just take your, your foot out to the side and bend the knee. Lovely, breathing in, breathing out. Let's come up and over to the right side, taking that left arm up and over, inhale to center. Exhale, we'll come over to the left. So just reaching the fingertips toward the floor. One more each way, inhale. Exhale, over to the right. Again, you can look up or down. Inhale to center. And this time as you exhale, either just fingertips toward the floor or maybe bring your hand down and lengthen that top arm alongside the ear. So I've shifted my weight forwards a little bit. I've got shoulder on top of wrist. You can lift that right leg if you want. It's a little bit heavy. Push the hips forward. Lovely, a little bit of strength. Let's come all the way back up to center. Big breath in. Breathing out last time over to the right. Inhale as you reach both arms up towards the ceiling. And this time as you exhale, we'll bring the hands down to the floor and bring your chest forward. So again, we've got shoulders above wrists. If this is uncomfortable with the leg out to the side, just come back onto all fours. And a breathe in back into that cow pose. So try and lift your hips as you dip your belly, the pelvic tilt up and exhale round the back like an angry cat. So inhale, belly drops, heart pulls forward. So you might feel a little stretch in the inner thigh. And then exhale, angry cats, rounding the back. One more, inhale. And exhale, lovely. Take that right leg all the way back behind you now, ball of foot to floor, and have a little roll back and forth. So you might just want to stay there, stretching out through the leg. Or join me in downward dog, pushing the hips up and back. If a downward dog isn't for you this morning, just keep that right leg extended, rolling gently back and forth. Lovely. If you're in that downward dog, have a little stretch out through the feet, left and right. And then we'll all come back onto all fours, flattening the feet, breathing in. Breathing out, hips to heels, back into that child pose. Option to stay here this morning. Have a rest, take it easy. Or join me, inhale back onto all fours. Exhaling all the way down onto your tummy. Elbows squeeze in as you bring your belly down to the floor. Press into your hands. Inhale back up to all fours. Exhaling hips to heels. Nice big stretch. And again, inhale, rise up back onto all fours. Exhale, lower down. Elbows like little grasshopper legs. Inhale, push up. Exhale, hips to heels. This time we're going to come down onto our tummy. So inhaling up, and as you exhale, come all the way down onto your tummy, and just walk your arms forward so your elbows are underneath your shoulders for a sphinx pose. If your back feels tight today, take your elbows further forwards and wider apart, so you're dropping your chest a little bit. Imagine you want to pull your elbows back towards you, back towards the side of the ribs, drop some weight into the front of your pelvis, and try and stretch your toes away from you, so you might feel that you're quads, your thigh muscles and your knees engage. Lovely. Press down into your palms and your forearms as you take your gaze over your right shoulder and just press into your left elbow a little bit more firmly. Come back to centre. As you change sides and look to the left, press into your right elbow. Back to centre, chin level with the floor. Keep pressing into both arms now as you drop your chin down towards your chest. Lengthen the neck. And then lift your chin up and away from your chest so you're nodding your head. Lovely. Back to center. We'll widen the elbows. Rest one hand on top of the other. Bring your head down onto your hands and bring your right heel in towards your bottom for a little quad stretch. Option to stay there or the right hand reaches back, takes hold around the ankle. Make sure that your knees are hip width apart. If you can't quite catch your foot, you can hook your fingers in your trousers or just bring the heel in and rest your head on your hands there. If you've got hold of your foot, ankle, 
or trousers, you're bringing the heel right into the middle of your bottom, pressing your hips down as you lengthen the knee away from you. Nice stretch out for the thigh muscle. Let's release the leg and change sides. So bring the left heel in towards you. You might just flex your foot and stay there or reach back with your left hand, take hold of your top of the foot, the ankle or hook your trousers. Knees hip width apart. So my legs aren't together together. There's a little space between my knees. Press your hips down and lengthen that knee away from you if you want a little bit more. So you're opening up through the shoulders as well here. Lovely, lengthen both legs back behind you. Hands underneath the shoulders, we'll press back up onto all fours. I've not forgotten we've got two legs, you thought I had, no, no, no. So this time left leg extends back. Lifting up level with the hip, ready for our little tiger, inhale. Exhale, knee to chest, nose to knee, press into your hands. Inhale, extend, try and take your gaze forward, so lengthen the spine as you breathe in. And then round the back as you breathe out. Do that twice more, so inhale, stretch the heel away from you. And exhale, knee to chest. But this time we'll take the leg back as you breathe in. Breathing out, knee to chest, pause, and then take the leg out to the left. So shoot it out, lining up your big toe roughly with your right knee, and walk the hands back up towards you. So we're in that gauge pose on the other side. So left leg extended this time, if it doesn't work, you can always bend your knee. So in, you're in more of a warrior position, breathing in, breathing out, nice side bend over to the left, keep pressing the hips forwards, inhale to center. As you exhale over to the right, you kind of lift the hip up a little bit. So you're creating that counterbalance, inhale to center, hips to center. Exhale over the top, it's that lovely side bend. Oh, it's such a good stretch, inhale to center. And as you exhale, option just to reach your fingertips towards the floor, you're still working through those side muscles, or bring the hand down, and then shift the weight forwards, shoulder above wrist. And you can keep that top arm lengthening up towards the ceiling or bring it alongside the ear. And final icing on the cake is to lift that top leg. I know you will want to. That's it, it's heavy, that leg. Oh, I think the hardest part is getting back up, so a bit of momentum. Breath in. Breathing out all the way over to the left. That's hard coming back up, isn't it? Inhale, reach both arms up. And as you breathe out, we'll bring the hands down, walking them forward so you bring your chest forward. It's a nice long back. And again, if you don't like doing this with your leg extended, just do your usual cat cow with your knees on the floor. Breath in, we try and dip the belly and lift your tailbone up a little bit. And then exhale, round the back. So inhale. We try and tilt the tailbone up and back behind you. Again, you might not get much movement. And exhale, round on up, angry cat. One more like that. So again, it depends on how our backs are, how much movement we have in our hips and our pelvis. We'll find that nice neutral position as you take that left leg all the way back behind you, ball of foot to floor, have a little rock back and forth, and then stay there or join me in a downward dog. That's it, pedaling out through the feet, bending one knee and then the other. You can have a little shake of the head, a little twist there. And then we'll come back down onto all fours, flattening the feet back into that child pose. Have a rest, stay here, or a little moving flow, just one of these. Inhale to all fours. Exhale to lower down onto your tummy. Lovely, inhale, press back up all fours. Exhale into a child pose. We'll all find our way onto all fours, tucking the toes under. Let's all meet in a downward dog this morning. If a downward dog is a few, stay on all fours. If you're with me in that downward dog, again, have a little pedal out through the feet before you find stillness in that downward dog. So maybe pop a little bend in the knees. See if you can press into your knuckles so you're not just dumping all the weight in your wrist. You're pressing into your knuckles as you lengthen the hips up and back. Find a comfortable position for your head. I like to look straight down the mat beneath me, but some of you might like to tuck your chin in and take your gaze back between your heels. Let's take a breath or two there. And then let's take a slow walk forwards now, walking your feet towards your hands. So we'll all end up in a forward fold at the top of your mat. So bend your knees generously, cradle your elbows if that feels nice, and maybe sway gently from side to side. Not too vigorous there, just a nice, soft, easy movement. 
if you don't want to be in a forward fold, just come up with me, bringing your hands just onto the tops of your thighs there. So wherever you are, let's catch your breath. If you're in that forward fold, you're getting a lovely brain bath, as my yoga teacher calls them. I've been in need of those. <laughs> and then letting go of your elbows. Let's all keep the chin tucked in as you roll your way up slowly, slowly, slowly to stand. Come up slowly so you don't get that horrible head rush at the top. Just let the blood settle. Lovely. So we'll stand towards the top of your mat. I'll just adjust that so you can everyone good. Okay, not lost anyone yet. <laughs> so standing towards the top of the mat, let's bring the hands together at the heart. Lift your breastbone a little bit higher. So stand a little bit taller as we start a slow flow. So now you can have a little rest whenever you want to. Let's take the arms up towards the ceiling, turning the palms forwards. So take your left hand to catch your right forearm. Breathing in, reach up. As you breathe out, bump the hips over to the right and take that arm all the way up and over. And press a little bit more firmly into the outside edge of that right foot. Come back up to centre. Changing hands, so right hand hold left forearm, breathing in, reach up. Breathing out, bump the hips to the left, press into the outside edge of that left foot so you're finding that nice half moon stretch. Lovely. Inhale to center. And as you exhale, let's come all the way down into a forward fold, bend the knees as much as you need to. Bring your hands up to your thighs as we lift up halfway into that flat back. So hands on your thighs, squeeze your elbows in towards the side of the body, like those little grasshopper legs. Lengthen out through the back, breathing in. Breathing out, hands down, and step back into plank, right leg then left leg. Option to bring the knees straight down to the floor or stay in that plank pose Spreading the shoulder blades left to right, breath in. And as you breathe out, knees down, chest down, all the way to the floor. Hands under the shoulders as you push up into a little baby cobra. Breathing in, lift the chest and exhale to lower. Breathing in back onto all fours. And breathing out downward dog or stay on all fours, choice is yours. I'm going to shift the weight into your left foot as you take your right leg up and back behind you. You can bend the knee, drop the heel towards your bottom. So we're pointing that right knee up towards the ceiling, like a little dog peeing on a lamppost, opening up through the hip. You can have a turn through the right foot a couple of times as you peek underneath your armpit there. And then we'll bring that right knee through to your chest, turn it to your chest, and step the foot forwards. Lower the back knee. Right thumb to your right hip crease. See if you can snuggle it in and let that pull you all the way up into a lunge. Sweeping the left arm up, breathing in. As you breathe out, going to bring the back of that left hand to the outside of your right leg, knee or thigh, and start to turn the chest. So pull that right thumb back, keeping the hip open. Option to keep the thumb there or reach the right arm back behind you, level with the shoulder and maybe even look back towards your thumb. Try not to let that front knee roll in, so press it into your hand. Lovely. Coming back to center, hands down, framing the foot up on your fingertips, breathing in. As you breathe out, start to move the hips back into a little hamstring stretch. The knee might be bent, the foot on the floor, or slide the heel forwards and pull the toes towards the face. Ease into that hamstring this morning. Steady breathing. Lovely. We'll plant the foot, pick up the back knee and step back into plank. Lovely. Inhale, shift the weight forwards. Exhale, knees down, chest down. Little flow in between sides. Baby cobra, inhale. Squeeze those elbows in. Exhale to lower. Push back onto all fours. Breathing in. Breathing out, downward facing dog. So all of that on the left side. So take your time, bringing your feet hip width apart. This time, drop the weight into your right heel as you lift your left leg up, bending the knee. Dropping the heel towards your bottom, so we're stacking the hips, pointing that left knee up towards the ceiling. You can have a little circle through that left ankle, take your mind off what you're doing. <laughs> and then we'll bring the left knee to your chest and lightly step it forwards to the top of the mat. Drop the back knee, left thumb to left hip crease. Let that pull you all the way up into your lunge, low lunge. Right arm lifts, inhale. Exhale, bring that right hand to the outside of your left thigh or knee. Make sure the shoulders are on top of the hips. 
pull that left hip back and maybe reach the left arm back behind you, thumb up towards the ceiling. Turn the chest, turn the gaze. Lovely, back to center. Fingertips finding the floor. Inhale, exhale, slide the hips back into that hamstring stretch. So if the hamstrings are super tight, you can always rest your hands on your thigh as you slide the heel away from you or bring your fingertips down onto the floor. Lovely. Oh, hello, hamstrings. Let's roll through the front foot, bend the knee. Pick up the back knee, and this time as you inhale, let's step forwards to the top of the mat. Exhale as you fold over the legs. Bend the knees, sweep the arms all the way out and up. Breathing out, hands to heart. And as you bring your hands to your heart, we're gonna interlace the hands and free up your index fingers, your point fingers. Taking the arms up towards the ceiling, upper arms hug your ears, breathing in. Breathing out over to the left, bump your hips to the right. Doesn't matter if you're going the opposite way. Inhale to center, opposite way. So let those upper arms hug the ears. Inhale to center, separate the hands. Exhale all the way down into that forward fold. Generous bend in the knees. Fingertips to floor, shins or thighs. So you can lift up halfway into a flat back. Exhale, bring the hands down. Step, step back into plank or all fours. Option to skip this bit. You can always just take a child pose or inhale to shift the weight forwards. Exhale to lower down. Your knees might be lifted this time or bring them down. Baby Cobra, inhale. And this time as you exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips downward dog or come up through all fours. Take your time to find that downward dog. Knowing you can have a rest at any time. Then we'll lift the right leg up behind you, breathing in. Breathing out, we're gonna step that foot forwards and lower the back knee. You can keep the toes tucked or flatten the foot, choice is yours. Inhale, sweep the arms up. And as you exhale, push the palms out to the side, bringing the hands behind you so we can interlace the hands. So you might keep your elbows bent, palms apart, maybe straighten the arms, knuckles pull down, and maybe lift them away from the low back if that feels comfortable. Lift your chest, maybe lift your chin if that feels comfortable. Oh, it's a bit wibbly wobbly when you lift your chin. Lovely. Let's release the arms, sweeping them up. Big breath in. Breathing out, bring the hands down. Frame the front foot, option to lift the back knee. Make sure the hips don't lift as you take a twist to the right. So we're taking the right arm up towards the ceiling. Lovely. Bring both hands down and we'll step back into plank pose or come back onto all fours. Inhale, shift the weight forwards. Exhale to lower down. Little baby cobra, inhale. Exhale, downward dog, or come into that downward dog through all fours. Take a breath or two in that downward dog, so take your time before we do that little ditty on the left leg. So left leg lifting, big breath in. Breathing out, step it forwards, top of the mat, and we'll drop that back knee. Lovely, arms reach up, low lunge, inhale. Really push the palms away from you. Exhale, flexing the wrists, feel the arms engaged, hands come behind you, interlacing them. You can even interlace in the opposite way so the other little finger is on top if you're feeling really brave. Pull the knuckles down, maybe lift them away from the back. Lift the chest, maybe lift your gaze up towards the ceiling. Whoa, a nice stretch for the shoulders. Release the arms, breathing in. Breathing out, hands frame that front foot. Option to lift your right knee. If you do, really stretch out through the heel as you take your left arm up towards the ceiling for a twist. Pull that left hip in and back, in and back. Hands come all the way down. You then have a bit of momentum now to inhale to the top of your mat, feet together. Exhale to fold. Bend your knees. Inhale, rise on up. Hands to heart. Maybe just close the eyes for a moment. We've got one more little addition. So if you've had enough and you don't want to do any more planks, knowing that you can just linger in down the dog, take a child pose. So we do one more little variation. So bending the knees, sweep the arms out and up, breathing in, breathing out, all the way down into that forward fold. Legs might be a little warmer now. Lifting up halfway as you breathe in. 
as you breathe out, step back into plank, take a child pose or indeed all fours. Inhale, shift the weight forwards, try and stay puffed up between the shoulder blades, and exhale to lower. Remember your knees can always come down first. Little baby cobra as you inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. So pushing the hips up and back. So this time, you're gonna take the right leg up behind you, big breath in. And as you breathe out, bring that right knee to your right elbow, so upper body is in plank, a little strength. Inhale, take that right leg all the way up and back. Exhale, right knee to left elbow, it comes across the body. Inhale to centre. This time as you exhale, knee to chest and step that foot lightly forwards, top of the mat. You're gonna step that left foot slightly out to the left, heel in, toes out, ready for a warrior one. So we're gonna rise on up, we've got the right foot forwards. So front foot facing forwards, back foot slightly out to the side. It's lovely, reaching the arms up, breathing in. As you breathe out, we'll push the palms away and bring the hands behind you just as we've done before. So knuckles draw down, maybe down and away. Option just to bring your hands to your hips if that's a little bit too much this morning. Or last little bit might be to come into humble warrior. So the chest comes forwards and down towards the inside of that front thigh and the arms might lift up and over. If that's too much, you can always bring the hands onto that front thigh and give yourself a little bit of support there. So if you're with me in that humble warrior, we're taking the gaze back towards that back heel. Lovely. Let the knuckles pull you all the way back up. Inhale, sweep the arms up. And have a little pivot on that back foot so all 10 toes are facing in the same direction now. I'm on the ball of my back foot. Straightening both legs and breathing in. As you breathe out, try and bend both knees whilst keeping the body upright. So I'm not leaning forwards. Little dip of that back knee, reaching up nice and tall. Beautiful. And then bring the hands down to frame that front foot. You might need to slide that left leg back a little bit so you can step back into plank or skip this bit. Last little bit, shift the weight forwards, breathing in, breathing out to lower down. Little baby cobra, last one, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. I'm just gonna turn the other way, so I'm on the right leg for you. So this time we're gonna lift your left leg up, breathing in, breathing out, left knee to left elbow. So we shift the weight forwards, upper body's in plank. Inhale, leg goes up and back. Exhale, knee comes across to opposite elbow, comes across the body. Inhale, take it up and back. And this time as we exhale, knee to chest, and then step or help it forwards. And we hop the right foot slightly out to the right, heel and toes out. So as you rise on up for that warrior one, we've got our front knee bent, but the back leg stays nice and straight. Breathing in as you reach the fingertips up, and as you breathe out, we'll bring the hands behind you one last time. So if you've had enough, just bring the hands onto your hips, hold that warrior, or draw the knuckles down and away. Option to stay there, or we begin to bring the chest forwards and down, forwards and down toward the inside of that front thigh, and the arms might lift up and over. Again, you can bring both hands onto your front thigh, and just rest there for a little bit of support if you need it, no problem at all. If you're with me in that humble warrior, you're dropping your gaze towards your back heel. Lovely, let the knuckles pull you all the way back up. And as you sweep the arms up towards the ceiling, you take a little pivot on that back foot so all 10 toes are facing in the same direction. I'm on the ball of the back foot. Straightening both legs, breathing in. As you breathe out, we're going to bend both knees, so we're dipping that back knee down. It might not dip very far, trying to keep the body nice and upright. Beautiful. Let's lower the hands all the way down, and we'll step back this time into a downward facing dog. From your downward dog, widen your feet a little bit wider than hip width. Come down onto all fours. Keep your knees a little bit wider. And then you can bring your big toes towards one another. 
ease your hips back towards your heels and take a nice wide knee child pose. Reaching the arms out in front of you. Ah, catch your breath. And if you want a little shoulder stretch with me here, then feed your right arm underneath your left arm. Coming onto the side of the head there, so you're in a little thread needle. Lifting that left arm up towards the ceiling a little bit. Just have a couple of breaths there, breathing into that nice stretch across the upper back. And then we'll change sides. So feeding the left arm underneath the right arm or the opposite way if you've gone the opposite way, just make sure you've done both sides. So you're trying to lift that top arm hip up as you lean into the side of the shoulder there. Lovely. And then we'll stretch both arms in front of you. Ah, just pause there for a breath or two. And then lift your chest, looking towards your hands, and then walk your hands back towards you. You end up just sitting on your heels. We'll bring the knees together, drop your bottom to one side, and stretch both legs out in front of you. I just dropped the camera so you can see me. Oh, got a bit of warmth on there. <laughs> we we'll stretch the legs out in front of you and bring your right heel in towards you. Lovely. So we'll let that right knee just drop out to the side. You can always prop it up if the knee's a little bit too high or keep both legs stretched out in front of you. So reaching the arms up, breathing in. Let's come forwards and down over the left leg. Try to keep your chest square over your leg so we're not dipping to the right or the left. Hands might land on either side of your thigh, your shin. Tuck your chin in. Try and relax the back of the leg. Try and relax that right hip. So if your hip is tight, just stretch both legs out. And walk both hands back in towards you. Options here is either just to take that left leg out on the diagonal or bend the knee and see if you can come into a zigzag leg. So you've brought that left shin back behind you. Right hand to the floor. Just sweep the left arm in front of the face and maybe lift the hips and take your gaze down toward the floor. So you're reaching the fingertips up and over, a little squeeze at the bottom. Lovely, lower the hips as you sweep the arm back in front of your face and take a little twist to the left. So right hand just comes across. Lovely. And then we'll swap sides. So we'll stretch both legs out in front of you, sliding that left heel in towards you. So again, if you find as you allow the knee to drop open that the knee's very high, you can bring your foot a little bit lower down the leg or just pop a little blanket or something underneath the knee just to give it some support. Or stretch both legs out. Inhale, reaching, reaching up. Exhale as you fold down. There are always adaptations, there are always options. No body is the same, so no pose will ever look the same. So if you do suffer from tight hips or back, Maybe next time have a little cushion or, or blanket to hand so that we can use as a, a little prop to give you that bit of extra support. Tuck the chin in ever so slightly, leg out through the neck. And then we'll walk the hands back towards you, lift the chest. Again, option just to take the right leg out on a diagonal or bend the knee and bring that shin behind you. So you're in a little zigzag with the legs. Left hand to the floor, right arm reaches across the body, you might stay there, or lift the hips and take the gaze towards your back hand. A little squeeze at the bottom, reaching up and over. Lovely, lower the hips, sweep the arm in front of the face, ready for that little twist to the right. Try and sit evenly through your sit bones, it probably doesn't feel completely balanced, your mind certainly doesn't. Lovely, back to centre. Stretching the legs out in front of you, give them a little bit of a bounce. And then we'll bend the knees, walk the heels back towards you. 
and use the floor to help you, your hands to help you. Come all the way down onto your back, bring your knees in towards your chest and have a nice roll or rock with the legs from side to side or take the knees round in a little circle. Lovely. And then just as we did at the beginning, bring your feet down wider apart, heels in, toes slightly turned out. We'll bring the arms out level with the shoulders. If you're struggling for space, you can always cactus the arms, or you can bring the arms back above your head, one hand resting on the other, as we drop both knees over to the right side. So as you drop both knees to the right, sometimes you always feel like I've got to um, kind of adjust my feet, bring them a little bit narrower there, just to lessen any pulling on my knees. And if you want a little bit of added weight here, Pick up your right foot and just rest your foot on your left knee or thigh there, outer knee or outer thigh. So you're using the weight of that right leg to bring the left knee a little bit further toward the floor. If none of that is making sense, just keep both feet on the floor there. Lovely. If you've got your right foot, hooked over the left leg, let's bring both feet back down. We'll come all the way back through center and then take the legs over to the left. So moving slowly, we'll roll over the heels. So take your time to get yourself comfortable there. Bringing that nice gentle stretch as the outer hip, maybe into the back. And if you want more, this time we pick up the left foot and place the ankle just on your right knee or thigh there. Oh, only ankle. <laughs> Yeah. and try and relax both knees. That's it. Unhook the foot. Let's come all the way back to center with the legs, bringing the heels back in towards your bottom, lowering the arms just so you can hug the right knee in towards the chest one last time. Taking the leg up into that hamstring stretch, maybe the Legs feel a little warmer now. So if they do, feel free to lift your head and shoulders, slide the hands up the leg, and maybe lengthen your left leg out along your mat. If that's too much, keep the knee bent. Hug those elbows in, keep the chin tucked in. And then bring the knee in towards your chest. Give it a squeeze, and then bring the right foot to the floor. Slide the left heel in as you bring that left knee in towards your chest. Give it a little hug, a little squeeze before extending it up into that hamstring stretch. So some of us with very tight hamstrings might feel that this is more than enough. Thank you very much. Feeling okay in the hamstring, slide the hands above the knee joint. Avoid the knee joint itself, lifting head and shoulders and maybe slide that right leg out nice and long. I'm going to keep the heel on the floor today, toes up towards the ceiling, nice active feet. And then lower the head, lower the shoulders. Give that left knee a squeeze and then lengthen both legs out on the mat and reach both arms back behind you. Find that lovely full body stretch there. Flex your feet, push the heels away from you. And now try interlacing the hands and pushing the palms away from you. You might feel a nice stretch through the back seam of the body there. And then separating the hands, relax the feet. And now point the toes away from you as you lengthen the fingertips back and away. So this time maybe you feel a slightly different set of muscles engaged. And then relax that stretch. Bring the arms all the way back down alongside you. A little space underneath your armpits. Have a roll across your heels, flopping the feet in and out, in and out. And then let your heels rest in, your toes open. As you take a couple of minutes, just a couple of moments in the Shavasana. So make whatever adjustments you need. Slide the shoulder blades towards one another and away from your ears. You can always re-bend your knees and walk your feet back towards you. Rest your knees against one another if you need some more support for your low back. 
Take a nice deep breath in. And as you breathe out, close your eyes. And take a moment to let the body digest the effects of a practice. Now the movement has finished. And remembering the words of that, that opening reading. Choosing to enter now that quiet sanctuary within you. So again, if you find that the mind instantly begins to pull you forwards into the rest of the week or indeed back through the events of the previous few days, gently draw it back to your breath. And it's a practice. We have to do it again and again. Breathing in. Fully and deeply. Breathing out slowly and completely. Each part of the breath is important as the other. And each exhale, just feel the back body releasing a little bit more into the mat. Letting go of any tension across your hips, across your chest. Relaxing your face. As we continue into the rest of the week, let's remind ourselves of that first line of that reading that we can choose to move more slowly. So maybe just pausing intermittently through the rest of the day, the rest of the week. And just allowing yourself the opportunity to catch yourself when you're moving and thinking a little bit too quickly. Reminding ourselves that we can choose to move more slowly, we can choose to take that pause, gather our thoughts, reacquaint ourselves with our breath before we continue. Maybe moving a little bit more mindfully through the rest of the week. Very gently now, maybe just take a gentle roll across the back of your head. Tick tock from side to side. And then wiggle through your fingers, the wiggle of your toes. If your knees are bent, feel free to straighten the legs back out in front of you and float both arms back above the head into a full body stretch, finding that space behind you. Keep it nice and soft now. And then lowering the arms, walking the heels back in towards you one last time, bringing the knees in towards your chest. And sometimes it's nice just to linger there, the knees hugged in, getting a nice release through the low back. Sometimes you feel you've got to move, to circle, to rock, just to get rid of any residual tension. So whatever you're doing, rolling or finding your way now, just to onto the side of the body, the right side or the left side, just rolling onto one side and then finding your way to seated. Brilliant. Bring the hands together at your heart, drop some weight into your elbows. Allow your chin to drop down, but try and avoid the body pitching forward. So keep lifting your breastbone a little higher. And then we'll take one glorious breath in together, sweeping the arms out and up, getting ready to face the rest of the day. We've set ourselves up for greatness. Exhale, hands to heart, chin to chest. And thanking one another for sharing our remote practice. How long have we been doing these now? Thank you, thank you. Oh, it's been a long time, hasn't it, thinking about it? I should have kept uh, a notice as to how long we've been doing them, or maybe that would have been too depressing. 